welcome to my channel if you're new around here i'm april i make weekly videos every sunday at 6 pm on things ranging from fashion lifestyle and disney and today's video is disney themed to a t so i have been requested a few times to share some of my disney outfits that i'm planning on taking this year to florida and with just over a month to go I am getting super excited. I have been buying loads of bits on Vinted. I've been getting some bits from small businesses. And I have also got another small business haul coming your way in the next few weeks. So be sure to subscribe to that, my channel to um, catch that. But I kind of wanted to show the process today of how I am like forming the outfits. I am going to be doing a pack with me video so I'm not going to be showing all of the outfits today. So if you are um, an enjoyer of packing videos that is literally going to go live the night before we go on holiday. So I'm so excited to film that but I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I'm probably going to show about seven outfits today of ones that I have like most of the pieces for. But I'm so excited. I absolutely love fashion and Disney fashion in particular. It's just going to be so fun. I went last year to Florida. I have some vlogs on my channel if you fancy watching those. I'll link them in the description below. But I feel like my outfits weren't a true representation of kind of how I wanted to look and stuff so I've really tried this year to kind of source a lot of pieces where I'm going to be comfortable. I learned a lot of um, kind of things from what I took last year because I didn't end up wearing um, a few pieces that I actually ended up bringing. Denim shorts for one thing, I probably won't be bringing those because I wore them on our first day in Magic Kingdom and I was so uncomfortable so you might sense there's a theme with some of the outfits I'm going to show you um, but that's basically because I'm a size 18 slash 20 so I'm not the smallest kind of person so I like to dress for comfort but I also like to dress to look cute for photos and stuff but yeah let's get into the video I am going to get all my lounge flies that are on my top of my wardrobe and I've also got t-shirts in one of the kind of baskets up there which are all on my Disney t-shirts and I think I'm just going to lay them out all on the bed go through them all with you and then try them on to so you can see how the outfit's going to look but I am also posting some Disney outfits on my Instagram so I'll link that in the description below and put it on screen it's just at a dose of April and that will be kind of like showing on the lead up to our holiday some of the outfits that I'm going to be taking as well they may be duplicated in this video as well but yeah I'll be posting loads on my Instagram when we're there so if you want live updates of kind of what we're getting up to um, please go and follow me over there and on TikTok and everything but yeah this intro is way too long already let me get all of these bits down and get um, forming some of the outfits so as you would have just seen from the time lapse I got all of my lounge flies out I'm thinking of taking all four I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit them all in my suitcase you'll soon see in the packing video but yeah I've got all four of those I've got a few dresses out so these are definitely the ones that I'm going to be taking with me I, there's obviously going to be a few more but these are kind of like the more themed ones that I kind of wanted to take for specific outfits and stuff I think the other ones that I'm really going to take are going to be like um, ones that I'll just put on in the evening or in the morning if we're not really doing anything so I'll go through every, um, where everything is and then just on the other side before I get any of the t-shirts and stuff out I've just laid out a few skirts that I know I'm going to be taking now this is when you're going to sense the theme I have brought most of these either in the sale or on vinted but they are all kind of mini skirts i'm five foot eight for reference and i have quite long legs so it's quite hard for me to find a skirt that's long enough that i can wear cycling shorts with because i do suffer from chub rub but also that i'm not going to be too hot in because i um, tried wearing a midi skirt last year in disney i was just getting far too hot on it so i thought these mini skirts would work quite well i'm just chucking a, a t-shirt and stuff in them uh, but they're quite cute so 
these two were from Vinted, this one is from Asda in the sale, I got it for £3. This was from Vinted and this was in a next outlet for £4 I believe. So yeah, really good way of kind of adding a theme to your outfits without breaking the bank and still looking cute. So yeah, I'm just going to get all of the Disney t-shirts out, so out of that box there and oh... How could I forget? I forgot to get the ears out as well, so I'll get the box that has all of my ears in it. And the box is so cool, so I'll show you that. But yeah, this is kind of how I start to form the outfits. I'll kind of lay out some of the key pieces of the outfit and then add all of the accessories and the shoes and everything to it. But yeah, this is kind of like a good sense of how much I'm going to be taking with me, kind of. and how the outfits form. I don't know how I'm actually going to pack them. I don't know if I'm going to pack them in outfits because I think that's probably going to be quite a good idea in like packing cubes and stuff. Maybe like pa pack them for certain parks and stuff so I can literally just get a whole packing cube out of those. Not too sure yet but yeah I'm, these outfits are very different to what I wore last year and I'm already so excited to wear all of them. The Simpsons one is actually from a small business called That's So Betty and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. No it's not Disney but we're going to Universal this year and I wanted some really cool outfits for Universal. We're hoping to go for two days so I'm probably only going to pack like for two outfits but I'm absolutely obsessed with, with that and you'll see kind of how I've managed to style it with um, my converse and stuff but yeah just going to get my ears the t-shirts and my shoes out and then that's when we'll start forming the outfits so the mini ears and t-shirts and um a few disney skirts are down before i would just quickly show you i actually had a new pair of ears delivered this morning from the bare necessities and this is a big hint of what one of the outfits are going to look like but i am absolutely obsessed how what cool are these so yeah this is going to be one of the key pieces along with the bag of one of the outfits i am planning but i am just in love with them and then the box that i keep all of my mini ears in is actually from a kind of pr box that disney plus sent me for the release of pinocchio last year and it is the perfect oh the perfect box to store all of my mini ears in so i have i had quite a big collection of mini ears but i have managed to sell quite a few of them on vintage so all of the ones in this box now are probably going to be most of the ones that i take on holiday with me but I will um, get all of the ones out that I do want for the outfits and place them next to the outfits. Like ones like this, they're going to be so versatile to wear with quite a few outfits. So really happy to take some of them along. These ones have done me so well. I got them in Disneyland California in 2019 and they done me well for the whole trip there i wore them loads in florida last year and i just love them they, they're official disney park ones and i just love them and they're going to go with so many cute outfits this year yeah and i also got these ones in florida last year i am um, i love quite a lot of heavy music and i'm a little bit more alternative sometimes with some of my clothes i just absolutely love these and these looks really cool with some of my star wars outfits and i just like how they edged up an outfit a little bit and then i've got some more from small businesses but i will show you those with the outfits and then just to quickly go through some of the t-shirts so i've got this sweatshirt that i got from dis t worlds which i'm probably going to wear on um travel day i'm probably not going to show like a travel day outfit um on this video but yeah this is just going to be so cozy and comfy on the like um travel up to the airport and also on the plane and stuff because sometimes it can get quite cold i've got my star wars skirt that i wore last year that i will be wearing it again this year so i'm not really going well i will show you the outfit that i'm going to plan around wearing that because i've got my star wars lounge fly now 
So yeah, that is going to be with, paired with something else. And I've also ordered another skirt on Vinted um, for another Star Wars um, outfit because I like to. I like the fact that I changed last year halfway through the day, um, so I had a different outfit. But yeah, I'm going to get all of the t-shirts out that I want for the outfits and show you them rather than going through them because literally it goes all the way to the bottom. I've got so many t-shirts, this box is very heavy. Yeah, let me get those out, but I absolutely love um, getting loads of independent um, like small business pieces for my outfits this year. I've got quite a lot of mini ears, obviously. And quite a few of my t-shirts, like the themed ones, are from small businesses. And this skirt I got again from a small business, that's so Betty, the one that did the Simpsons um, dress. I got this for my trip to California in 2019 and I am just obsessed with it. And it will be definitely coming on holiday with us again this year. It's the perfect one for Toy Story Land and Hollywood Studios. But yeah, let me get all of this out and then I'll run you through all of the outfits and then we'll have a little try on and show you what they all look like there was once a day that i would pray for you okay so i said i was only going to show about seven but there's nine on the bed at the moment so i'll try to make this video as short as i can but i've just got um these shoes out that i am going to be pairing with most of the outfits these two are Converse Move, these are the high top version, these are the low ones, I find them super comfy, I'm yet to break them in fully before holiday, that is a number one tip, do not buy new trainers or shoes or anything and don't break them in because your feet will be paying for it and I am speaking from experience, I bought some white leather vans last year to wear on holiday and they cut my feet up something rotten so yeah, these are super comfy, they're platform ones and they've got a really nice cushioned sole. And then these are the Nartelia Gladiator Doc Martin sandals. They've again got a really good cushioned sole. I'm going to wear these in when the weather's a bit better and before we go on holiday. But yeah, I might be wearing my black old school Vans as well, but that's probably about all of the shoes I'm going to take. And then let me go through all of the outfits that I've got on the bed. Now we're going for 14 nights, so there is going to be a few more outfits um, than this. But I just wanted to show you kind of the best ones um, that I have been kind of gathering all of the pieces for. And a lot of these items are going to be interchangeable, so I'm not just going to be wearing the... Uh, the skirt for one outfit but yeah let's go through them all so this first outfit me and Andy my boyfriend absolutely fell in love with Casey's um hot dog so I kind of wanted to have a themed outfit around that this might not be the skirt I actually pair with it because I've got another one on the way from Vinted but I kind of wanted the reds um to kind of bring out in the t-shirt this is from this t world you'll see all of these outfits what they look like on but i just wanted to kind of go through all the items these are the um, mini ears i've paired with them the next one is a vault collection t-shirt that i got from shop disney last year before i went on holiday again with just a skirt from vintage i believe these both were from next originally but this is just a spotty black and white um mini skirt for that would be perfect as kind of like a staple item in the outfits but yeah thought that would be really cute these are both going to be magic kingdom outfits the next one let me guess oh and the mini ears are from shop disney i got them in the sale last year the next one any guess where this is for it's of course animal kingdom i got these last year when we went to animal kingdom this is another dis t world it says jambo love that and then the skirt is from asda like i said in the sale the next outfit any guesses where this is from and um, what show i will be watching um what character i will be um meeting but yeah these ears like i showed you earlier from bears necessities the tea again is from this tea world absolutely love this super simple but really cute the skirt is from marks and spencers originally but i got it on vintage 
The bag is from Very Nico. I got it in the sale last year. Absolutely love it and it's going to be perfect. I think this is going to be my travel day out um, bag as well because it's a little bit bigger and I can fit more stuff in it. And then I know the main celebration of the 100 years of wonder of the Disney company aren't really based in um, Florida this year but I kind of wanted to have a hundred years of wonder outfit so this is from next the tea is amazing and it's again from this tea world the lanyard is from Primark the ears are from once upon a craft how amazing are these absolutely love them they're such a statement piece and then my bag is from let me get uh, Get Ready Comics, it is the Tattooed Mickey and Friends Lounge Fly and I absolutely love it and I feel like this is going to be quite a versatile kind of um, bag for my trip. Absolutely love it, it's my style to a T so yeah that's definitely coming with me. And then um, in terms of the footwear, most of them are going to go with it, all of these so they're fully interchangeable. Um, I'll be kind of wearing uh, little train socks with the low top ones and um, ankle ones with the high tops. But yeah, and then we'll go around to the dresses. This is obviously going to be one of my universal dresses. I've just paired it with a Uniqlo bag. They're the viral ones that literally fit loads of stuff in. I've heard um, when it comes to universal lockers, when you want to go on some of the rides, there's not very big and... I don't really want to damage any of my lounge files. I don't have a universal themed one. So I thought this bag would be perfect to kind of fit everything in, including my vlog camera that I'm filming on. But yeah, this dress is absolutely amazing. You'll see it on when I try on at the end, but absolutely love it. And I can't wait to meet some of the Simpsons characters and have some really cool interactions. The next one, we are going to Florida and um, going to Hollywood Studios on May the 4th. So I obviously had to dress appropriately. This bag has been on my wish list for so long. If you saw my what I got for Christmas, you'll know that my boyfriend Andy got this for me. I absolutely love it. It's going to go perfectly with my whole outfit. The ears are again from Once Upon a Craft. How amazing are these? They're just going to look so cool. The T is a Diz T World one again, it says join the resistance and then the skirt is one I made last year for our trip and it's made from a vintage Star Wars duvet cover. So the next outfit, again Star, um, Hollywood Studio themed and it is of course a Toy Story themed one. So these are Pixar Ball Wears that are actual lounge fly ones that I got for my birthday a few years ago and these um, again came to California with us and I've got the That's So Betty skirt underneath I've got this really cool Toy Story t-shirt that I got from Primark a few years ago in the men's bit and then Andy treated me to this bag for my birthday last year it's a woody one if you didn't know Toy Story is one of my favourite films so I'm going to absolutely love wearing this whole outfit. And then the last one that I want to show you, very different kind of vibe to this, but when we go to Florida, it's going to be Flower and Garden. So when I saw this dress in Primark a few weeks ago, I knew it had to be my Flower and Garden outfit. Again, I've got a um, Uniqlo bag, which goes perfectly, but if not, I will be wearing this lounge fly bag because it kind of goes still with the outfit. The ears are, again, from Once Upon a Craft. These are absolutely beautiful and will go perfectly for Flower and Garden. Yeah, this is a bit more of a cutesy, girly outfit, but I thought that would go really well with the um, kind of theme of Flower and Garden. But yeah, they're all of my outfits that I have um, kind of created so far. Like I said, there's going to be a few more, but what I'm going to do now is try on all the outfits and show you and try not to get too out of breath in doing so. And yeah, that will be kind of the conclusion of the video. But I hope you enjoyed watching all of these outfits come to life and everything. It's been really cool showing you. But yeah, 
the video isn't ended yet let's try on some of the outfits and show you what they look like this is the first outfit absolutely love this the fit of this t-shirt is so nice the skirt i've got the white platform converse on the ears how cool does the ears look and then the bag yes this is the first outfit absolutely loving it and then i'll insert the um full length clip as well yeah how cute is this going to look in hollywood studios metering meeting a sorcerer mickey love it i'm not going to talk for all of them as much as i have done for this one because this video is going to be so long yeah so this is the simpsons dress and outfit i'm going to be wearing it with my high top platform converse the uniqlo bag but how cool does this dress look it's just going to be the perfect kind of cool outfit for exploring the universal with and i just love it i can't wait to meet the characters in it and it's such a good length I, i've tried these on all of these outfits on with my cycling shorts that i get from primark now and it's a perfect length without them kind of showing the I absolutely love it. It's actually made from a t-shirt and then a old duvet cover. How clever is that? Yeah, the bag will just go across my body like that. So it'll be super easy. Yeah, second outfit. Obsessed. I think this is one of the most, um, the outfits I'm most excited to wear because it's just so cool. So this is the Casey's outfit, which will be for Magic Kingdom. I know this obviously doesn't go with the theme of Magic Kingdom but the colours kind of match with the skirt and the t-shirt and stuff so I thought that would go quite well and then I've just got my Converse move yeah super comfy quite a casual outfit but perfect for walking around in a theme park just got the silver now well, um mini ears but yeah quite like this quite cute might be our like first evening in Magic Kingdom kind of outfit whilst we're eating Casey's hot dogs yeah love this so this is the next outfit I'm not sure if I'm vibing with the t-shirt and the skirt combo I'm not sure I, d I think the t-shirts needs I don't know I might change it but got the high top converse the Mickey friends tattoo lounge fly my black and white polka dot mini ears but yeah this is another super cute comfy casual outfit for a theme park again magic kingdom or maybe epcot but like this like the kind of like monochrome kind of vibe to it definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this and this skirt is so comfy it's a perfect length for me without feeling like i'm gonna flash but much more comfortable than wearing a pair of shorts that are going to ride up and chase. But yeah, love this one. Animal Kingdom outfit. So I'm hoping I'm going to be wearing these sandals because last year Animal Kingdom was super hot for us. So hoping the sandal choice will be good. If not, I'll probably end up wearing my high top Converse. And then go with the Mickey and Friends lounge toy bag. Love this. Super cool. This skirt is so comfy. I think it's meant to be a little bit more like formal. But I feel like it works quite well. It's got like this like little ruffle bit at the bottom which adds a little bit more length to it. Yeah. We are going to Tusker House. If you've seen our dining room reservation video you'll know that we've booked quite a few um, character dining so I think this is going to be perfect to meet all of the characters at, at Tusker House but very on theme um, on the subject of lounge fly I'm hoping to buy the leopard print sequin lounge fly bag so I might end up bringing like my Unico bag in with me and if I do buy the lounge fly transfer and everything into that but yeah this is the lounge fly that i'll be taking if not be super happy with this super cute 
and perfect. So this is the first Star Wars outfit um, that I'll be wearing on May the 4th, but how cool is this? So I've got the This T Well Join the Resistance t-shirt, the Once Upon a Craft Star Wars is my lounge fly, the skirt I made last year. I am obsessed with this. I am definitely going to look the part walking into the parks. Yeah, the other outfit you'll have to wait and see um, when I pack it or when we're actually there. But it's going to be a different vibe to this. But really like this. It's going to be perfect for Star Wars Day. And then in terms of shoes, I'll either wear the white high, um, low tops or the black high tops just depending on how my feet are yeah we are getting through these outfits i think there's three more of outfits to show you but yeah hope you're liking all of them so far i'm really happy with how everything has turned out because you can buy loads of stuff um for outfits and not know actually until you try it all on how it's going to look and feel and stuff so i would def definitely recommend trying on all of your outfits before you go on holiday because that's where I made the mistake last year. I brought loads of bits that I hadn't really tried on together and they ended up not like really feeling right or anything but yeah so happy with all of these so far. So this is the 100 years of wonder themed outfit. The only thing I'm a bit worried about this is the t-shirt and the skirt are quite tight fitting so I don't know if I'm going to get too hot in them so it might be just like something I wear for a morning or an evening because it's obviously a black t-shirt but absolutely love this, got the little lanyard on there with the Mickey and Friends lounge fly, my high top converse, the once upon a craft 100 years of wonder is how cool they look, the Diz T World t-shirt for yeah love this outfit and the skirt looks really cool when you kind of move yeah so cool and this may be repeated when i go to california later this year yeah super cute outfit i'm sorry about how cool does this outfit look i wore the skirt last year but with just a plain t-shirt but i was like i'm gonna go all out this year how cool, I absolutely love it. The skirt is amazing, as it always has been. But yeah, very happy with these. Got my white hot and um, white platform low tops, the woody lounge fly. It's just gonna look so cool. The lounge fly is yeah, so cool, love it, and I love doing the spin in this as well. Hopefully I'll meet Woody this year in this outfit. Um, because there wasn't many characters last year, but yeah. Love this outfit. So this is the last outfit I'm going to show in this video. It's my Epcot Flower and Garden one. This is the Primark dress that is just perfect. I've got my pink Uniqlo bag, but I'll probably end up wearing the um, Mickey lounge fly instead. Converse, the Once Upon a Craft Flower and Garden is, and then I'll just wear the bag like this across if not, that would probably be like an evening bag if not, yeah absolutely love this, it's so comfy, it's literally like the perfect fit, they're still in store at the moment if you want to go and grab one, £12, got this in an extra large but just going to be perfect to walk around Epcot in Epcot in the Florida heat. Yeah, that is the last outfit. So that is my Disney planning outfits video. I hope you enjoyed it and seeing some of the outfits I'm going to be taking this year. Be sure to stick around on the channel because there's lots more videos coming up. I'm vlogging the trip, like I said earlier, and I'm going to do a packing video and everything. But this was just a taste at how I kind of plan my Disney outfits and what they kind of look like on me. So you can definitely look really lovely and feel comfortable even if you're plus size in a disney park so i hope this has given people some inspiration but thank you so much for watching this week i hope to see you next 
time at 6 p.m. on Sunday. But until then, bye! And now it's time to deal with this mess. Oh, the joys of Disney outfit planning.